Honestly, I, I enjoy watching my vassals do their thing. It's pleasing. I really need rest. Like how it's a little bit offset to the bottom there. Just a tiny bit. Well centered. But offset to the bottom. Like that. So, Kumania. How are you doing? Okay, we get a loyal servant. Cool. Someone got their eyes. ripped out that's very unpleasant in many many ways and send our troops here there seems to be more port infrastructure for armies could help him deal with it but I'd rather see where it goes. And the second he gets taken, we need to take over and declare. Declare war. My intention to take them. So what is Yohi's souls doing over here? Ah, they are sieging. Very slow going. Do a counter-sieging. Can't face them because the host will destroy you. Let's check our kids. Is there anyone better than who we currently have as our heir? Diplomat. Ah, he's still the best of them. She doesn't look all that happy with him. What's the next best guy I have? Ah, he's miles ahead. Let's give people help when we find that they need it. Pop growth and morale of armies. Morale of armies is really strong. Okay, news from China. The status quo in China is over. Brahma must have decided to punish the arrogance of the bureaucratic Chinese regime for a great Yurshan horde has recently disrupted the harmony of the divine land. Led by the great Kaga, numberless fierce riders have crossed the Liao river and invaded northeastern china apparently intent on conquering the whole empire the emperor is slowly gathering his forces in Gongzhou, but may many are already questioning whether he has lost the mandate of heaven tributary states of china this means that the suzerain will be unable to lead the lend the military aid others point out that this is an opportune time to break free And so someone else becomes a tributary to them. Okay. Ah, you're going to war again? Who are you fighting? Nepalese Pala 
subjugation war. Oh, you want to subjugate them? Hmm. You know what? I have half a horde there with the port written all over it. We are such an opportunistic scum. <laughs> Honestly. They have a whole lot of horse archers. We have some, but ne not nearly as many. Don't need to sit there alone. Be joined by your son. I think we missed that betrothal there. Fun. I don't think he'll need help, but we're happy to provide it uh, regardless. Off gathering, sure, sure. I'll come. Oh, who are you fighting against? Is your war over? Samu Paru, okay. Fighting against a vassal of ours. Or this thing, I feel. Oh well. There he comes. Does have a bit of an army. You know what? An idea how to help this a little bit more. Let's just raise them here instead of walking them all the way around. There we go. Made them angry. Let's go fight them. Yeah, we could duel someone for honor. lose the duel and lose a whole bunch of renown <gasps> don't have a blood oath plan no 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 let's go with a small one they're happy to take it Take our horses to raid here, and these guys are just there to retake what they sieged. Oh, yep. But apparently, they're not. Stand them down. They've done their job. Siege leader leading? No. Leader. 
this battle is still ongoing, it looks like. Yoshi's host is winning. Hard to not call it Yoshi's host. Let's see if these 7,000 can deal with these 4,000. I have a feeling they might not be able to. But we have really turned the tables for you. You should be able to absolutely wipe the floor with this guy now. Not that you wouldn't have been able to before, but now you're definitely able to. Done with building something new. Go. Go for more Ayrag producing. Can have a lot more troops there. Get a few more of those renowned ones. Some more gold ones. Ah, oh, let's go for renown. So, one, two, three, four. Cool. And we attach them over here. This sun has become a gray eminence. Well, not bad. Should be content. Ah, let's loot this. Take the money. God, look at all this land. How strong are you by now? 15,000. Not even your final form. We're at 80%. Not sure if this is really going down. So monthly prestige. Let's get some gold plating here. Let's go with our monthly prestige. This guy is still helping construction. Yeah, he is. Just ain't all that good at it. This host really needs to fight that army a lot. Right, let's pull our guys back. We've done our job. The rest is up to our vassal. Who will, I am certain, do just fine on his own. We're just here to, you know, watch a little bit, observe. I don't think people will join us. They're not very popular in the world. This guy is gathering adventurers to come at us. Can't combine if they're not both raiders. Oh, we need a warhorse. That's important. Lightning. 
will be all War Horse. Let's get some more games. People are probably going to decline a lot. We're supposed to personally loot these. I'm sure we can manage. of learned kids in this world no one really great I mean 17 diplomacy is nothing to scoff at Anyone who is not a horse lord. Nepal. Utsung. Uj. There's a bit of a weird word. Clan, 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 clan. Nope. No clan gets to do any of this. Or tutor guy and a new commander. Oh, core tutor, why not? Oh, he's really good. Can you go ahead and win already? Or we die of something. A crusade for Byzantium? I've never seen that. Are you really the target of a crusade? It's just... Finally, he's going to finish it off. And the second he becomes something, we need to jump on it. No one will help us here. Ninety-five percent for the host. Your war going anyway. We'll soon see a clash of swords here. We have looted the province successfully. Stuff. There's still more. Let's get the rest. Okay, where is he going to come from? Where are you right now? somewhere here they're probably going to pop up somewhere there which is good they're going to fight against all our vassals let's get some more prestige troops
or some uh, piety tree. Uh, I don't like the piety troops. They have weird stuff in them. Where is that rebellion? There. Fine, we'll finish this siege and then go take care of it. Let's go get them. He's winning. Good kid. Look at that. Much larger army is completely obliterated by them. Oh no, I missed it. Oh. He's still our... Oh boy. Just... He's still our boy. Just another boy in the boy's seat. I thought he might become independent or something. But I was wrong. Will you? Let's do it. So Nepal should be quite winning. Or. Ooh, more kettle pens. Are we leading ourselves anyway? Matters not. Let's also take out these folds. You better leave. Hang your head in shame. So where are we at? 75% we're almost there that the defensive pact slowly kind of drift apart almost right now everyone works together But once we're below 75%, we can go all out because only those of a different religion will come to his aid anymore. And if you look at this, that's quite slim pickings. And we have this fantastic clan as our ally for some reason. But we might want to wait for this adventurer threat anyway. It'll be soon upon us. We'll wait for the adventurer threat to pass. Guess someone won. Good on you, Nepal. All done. I'm proud of you. Nepal for a second had 10,000 troops there at their disposal. 
Yeah, let's hold the volley. Do that. Will be a great feast. More cattle pens. That's some crazy stuff there. Everyone welcome to a Diwali feast. The adventure is almost upon us. How many troops can we see here? Okay, then. Sixteen thousand, not bad. Feeding them from here. Just have to wait and see a little bit. These both have both have nothing. Can't join him. Do they don't raid? We'll just follow him around a little bit. Going south. Why is he going south? Oh, he's going north again. Go. Go away. We're 61. We should probably switch our focus to something. Do we have a friend? Yes. So we go for a hunting focus now. We still got our spy over here, so we'll see him fairly early. But it's still fun to kind of follow them around. What are we even fighting over? Claim on Mongolia. So far he has gone from Mandesh to Bost and back. Now he's in the guy. Might try to get on a boat and go over here. But we'll see. They do come with boats usually, so... No? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Once he's on a boat, we know where he's going. Build something. Ox and wagon? Yes, indeed. So he has troops in Makran. Where will he go? Oh. 
Oh, very unfortunate for them. But we're kind of right there. That's him. Now, oh, what is this? You're fighting against here. Are you fighting against there? Not so sure what's going on there. I don't know what this is. So he keeps leading troops in Makran. And we could just go to him, but I feel like when we arrive he's going to be elsewhere. Constantinople falls. Really now? Oh yeah, there's the Latin Empire. Right in the middle there. And the Ecumenical Patriarch. Eight. Ecumenical Patriarchate. This is a theocracy. Wow. And this is some sort of empire, the Empire of Senussi. What's going on out here? What is all this? England is doing halfway well. I'm a little bit annoyed by you. Did you make up your mind where you would like to go? Alright, we'll have to deal with it another time. <laughs>